Oh man, the stats on this bag do not match up with what I want to talk about. What's up folks? My name is Justin Kana. Thanks for joining me on another knife bag breakdown. Today I'm breaking down the track drum roll. So you might be asking, that's a dope name. Is it inspired by musicians? This is not supposed to be a knife roll. Track, which is the company out in Scotland, makes these really gorgeous wax canvas and leather and stainless steel hardware bags. And they've got backpacks and messenger bags and camera bags. I actually have their Wee Lug. If you remember my what's in my stage bag video, I use that to put my knife roll in. It's a really awesome messenger bag. So I reached out when I saw them do a post about this drum roll on Instagram and I was like, tell me I can put a knife in that. Yeah, they made me make sure to tell you folks this is not a traditional knife roll. This was not designed with knives in mind, but I'm a firm believer that there can be so much inspiration gained when you do crossovers with other mediums and other creative fields. But I just needed to keep in mind to take every little criticism that I give this bag with a grain of salt because this was not intended to hold sharp tools. So the ultimate question, how does the drum roll work as a knife roll? First off, the materials are stellar. Like I mentioned, Track makes a lot of their stuff with this waxed cotton. This is in a, what is it? Crottle and blaze orange color wave. It's really nice to see a bag that's not black on black. It is water repellent, got super heavy duty stitching all the way around. This bag is gonna get some character just like a leather knife roll would. You can see I've been using it for about a week and a half and it's already got some marks all over it. It's got this right here as a handle. I would have liked to see something comfier as the handle right here. I definitely did notice that when I picked this up and it was full of my tools, it tipped forward and kind of to the side here. I do like that they've got these little D loops here. This is obviously to make sure that the straps stay nice and together, but I can totally see you attaching a makeshift shoulder strap to one of these and using it to carry it around that way. I love the pop of orange on the outside here. They say it's for writing your name on the outside of the bag, but I can see it coming in really clutch if you're a drummer on a dark stage and you need to find your drum roll. There it is. Last up on the material side, they've got these really unique buckles. I've never seen any other bag use these before, but they're made of stainless steel. They have no moving parts, so they're intended on just kind of fitting into one another. And that means they're gonna last way longer than plastic designed parts. The idea is pretty simple. Insert one end flat into the other through the notches and boom, those aren't going anywhere. If you need to get your bag open, just flick it up until the edges can slide through and you're good to go. With those buckles undone, let's get this guy open. So I'm gonna kill the elephant in the room right away with this. You're probably like, Justin, WTF are the loops up there for? So for using this as designed as a drum roll, this goes right up on a, like a music stand next to your drum kit. And then when you need a new set of sticks, you can just grab it. But for us chefs, I mean, you can make this into whatever you want. I had a ton of crazy ideas. Like how do you attach a carabiner to this to attach a tool to it that you need easy access to? Or like, how do I buy a cheap set of S hooks and then mount this to like a Metro rack? And then you would essentially have like a hanging knife roll and you could just go up to it and grab whatever you need. You could get really creative with this. Again, I hope you're seeing why I get so excited with these worlds colliding with music and cooking. Now, moving on to the actual pockets of the bag. These are crazy deep pockets because again, it's meant for drumsticks. I found it's actually really interesting being set up like this because it's double layered. There are pockets on top of the pockets, which actually can get kind of stuffed. The waxed cotton doesn't stretch a crazy amount, but if you lay this outright, you can actually make it organized pretty well. In my bag here, I've got three knives, a honing rod, plus all my peripheral essentials, and it essentially breaks down surprisingly well. I'm a big fan of the design of this pouch here. It keeps pocket notebooks, a can opener, bench scraper, nice and secure. Plus it's got that bright orange inside. So if any of your tools are black on black, it's easy to find them. The other thing you don't really notice until you experience it is having the pocket so deep means that your knives stay really well put. Most knife rolls have these really shallow pockets. Sometimes they don't even cover the entire handle, but not with this bag. These pockets are all four inches wide and 10 inches deep. You could definitely easily fit a knife plus steel combo or even two knives in there. And then all of your smaller knives and tools just go up front or in that pocket. To be honest, most like petty knives or utility knives with the sheath on them are about 10 inches in general anyways. So it's just a convenient little slip pocket and the tip of it just pokes out the top. Once I started using it, I was kind of like mind blown that most knife bags don't include this feature in them. Lastly, it's got this flap cover on the top to keep everything nice and secure. It's not really super necessary, but it's a nice touch. I like the attention to detail. It kind of just feels like I'm tucking my knives into bed whenever I put them in this knife bag. So overall, who is this bag for and do I recommend it? At just 75 British pounds, it is the most affordable bag that I've done a deep dive review on. Even if it's not a traditional knife roll, it does all the jobs that I would expect a knife bag 
bag to do. And some of those jobs it does better than a knife bag that's designed for knives does. If you're someone like me, it keeps it minimal with what you carry on you. If you're on a budget, you're willing to experiment, you don't need a lot of bells and whistles, this roll is dope. I definitely recommend it. Thanks so much to the folks at Track for sending me this. I'm not being paid by them to say anything good or bad. I was attracted to their products years ago. If you guys ever want to partner on a knife roll, let's talk. Also, I've got this apron that everybody keeps asking me about, and I feel like it would just fit right into your portfolio of products. That's all for this review. Do you have a bag that you'd like to see me break down here on the channel? Leave it down low in the comments. If you have questions about the drum roll, go ahead and follow Track on Instagram. Tell them Justin sent you. Until next time, my name's Justin Kana. Have a good one.